All right, hey guys, um, kind of two different ways to do this. Um, one of the things you may want to do is maybe like a katana, and I'm thinking something along the lines of this, a little bit of top spin, um, maybe a little bit of overpower, and as much left curl as you can do, and just get it out into this open fairway. Now, instead of doing that, I'm going to go this route, and we're just going to kind of force the envelope a little bit and try to run it down this hill. Keep in mind, this is going to require things like a berserker, and it may even require, you know, a reasonable wind and also a perfect ball. So you'll really want to be dialed, and it looks like I did get the timing. Without it, you know, you might leak this ball too much. But what we're trying to do is just get it down here by the green, and you can see it's going to give us a pitch when we do it perfect. Keep in mind, if I great ball to the left, I'm probably in the sand. Great ball to the right, maybe come too aggressive, maybe even clip this tree. Um, you know, tough to say for sure. There's not a lot of room for air there. You may need to go with this layup, especially if you don't have many berserkers. This is one of those ways that you could maybe, you know, lay it up here in the first couple rounds and then come weekend, just try to force the envelope, maybe get lucky, get it down that whole hill and be able to get the eagle. If you're tight on berserkers, you know, you don't want to be using too many of them for a rookie tournament. So there's just not a lot you can win in rookie. But um, here you can see even my opponent got it down here. We both got it down. Um, it's not the easiest pitch. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a hard side, side win pitch for both of us. So here you can see Rapier 1. I don't even know what that is in terms of accuracy. I'm thinking maybe in the neighborhood of 2 per, 2 per ring or something. And something along the lines of maybe this for my guide. That's got to be too much wind. You know, I'm thinking maybe four per ring at mid club. So maybe come in on this just a little bit. Something like this. Perfect ball. And right into the cup. So there you can see, you know, you know, you gotta you gotta be thinking it's gonna roll out at least four or five grids. So that's more or less what I was doing, even without the you know the full ball rolled out. I can just kind of, you know, as as you can see, that's even what my opponent's doing, even with no top spin. It still shows that ball guide. Um, pretty su substantial. But you can see about, you know, I played about a cup worth of wind it looks like my opponent didn't and that's the reason he missed he essentially didn't play the wind at all he was like oh it's not that wind won't take it and sure enough you know he misses by a cup so um you know you do have to just try to you know figure out that wind play it's gonna be tough to get the eagle there um you know if you have things like extra mile eight you know you can probably get a titan down that hill Whereas you can see what I had to do with uh, with an extra mile five. So keep them keep that in mind. You know, the difference between extra mile seven, extra mile eight is, you know, those guys might be able to get a Titan down there. As whereas I have to kind of launch a berserker down there to make up for the lack of distance. So, um, you know, good luck with that hole. I'll see you guys on six coming up.